G'day viewers, it's Michael here again and welcome back to Single Racer. Now one of the things I really enjoy besides making the videos for YouTube and the racing side of it is sitting down first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee and checking out what other creators have done either for today or during the week what, what their ideas are. And if you are a creator that has done this before you'll know that it can sometimes be difficult to come up with ideas not necessarily for this video but maybe for the next five or for the next ten you're constantly trying to think uh, what's an idea I can come up with that's uh, fresh and new. So when I watched Mike Smith's new video which is another channel challenge I thought oh how easy is this it's only Mike Smith <laughs> this will be so easy to beat but all joking aside I, I was aware of this car this car is the RSR Delara I believe that's pronounced right Formula 3 car that's kind of associated with the RSR live timing website so I was aware of the car but I'd never actually driven it and only either yesterday or the day before I joined up with the other app that's uh, the sim racing systems where you can uh, race online in in preset uh, events that you can join at any time you like so I believe they would feature this car as well so I was keen to do that so when I checked out Mike's video I noticed underneath uh, that three or four people were so keen to try it that they'd already beaten his time and you know given it's Mike Smith how hard is that but uh, <laughs> He, he just gave it a, a try, he's still learning the Nordschleife track so you've got to bear with him on that regard. But this was interesting now because I'd just done a tutorial on Nordschleife but it featured a GT2 car and what was interesting to me is how would those techniques apply to a Formula 1 car because, or sorry, but, but uh, or a Formula 1 or in this case a Formula 3 car but essentially an open wheel car because I don't race this normally I've never been an F1 racer myself and I don't own any F1 racing games so could I use the principles based on my Ferrari GT2 car and use them in this hot lap and see how it applies now for the race, I didn't go with this default skin. So when you download the car from race department, you can download a set of either um, standard skins, uh, what they call 2K, or even if you own a 4K monitor, you can download the same set in 4K. Now, I didn't go with this default one. I chose a... Uh, Let me see if I can find it. This one here, only because uh, I like the bright colour and um, I love the yellow uh, riding on the tyres. So that's the one I went with. Now, for the actual hot lap, everything is default. So no changes other than I do what I normally do, which is lower the fuel. So I lo lowered it to 7 litres and everything else is stock. No change to gearing, no change to setup and so here is my time and now one final thing just before we go racing whenever i see a channel challenge by mike smith over at sim racing 604 i'm always going to stir him because hopefully that's the kind of friendly rivalry that uh us sim racers like to have against each other i do the same thing with my brother of course but in all seriousness i absolutely love his channel the the a man of help that he's given me as a person that doesn't normally race F1 cars has been tremendous. His how-to videos and um, tutorials on how to take certain corners in a certain way in an F1 car are just terrific. And the fact that he's just passed a uh, 1,000 subscribers, I think he's up to over 1,200 now, is just fantastic. So Mike Smith, this is kind of a, a tribute video to you and congratulations and I just hope your channel gets bigger and bigger. And the other thing is, even though it's probably not uh, the correct setting to have, as you can see here, I have all traction control, stability control and all that off. That's only because I race that way with everything normally. So 
Other than that and the fuel being lowered to 7 litres, everything else is default. So I haven't changed anything else, but there's my settings as you can see here. So uh, I don't know if people consider that an advantage or a disadvantage with a Formula 3 car, but I'll, I'll leave it up to you. And there's nothing more to say except let's go racing. <laughs>